Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. And as you can see, wife uses child surgery money. Lord have mercy for some freaking Beyonce tickets. That's when you know there's a problem. That doesn't make any sense. You uses the child surgery money. I can only imagine the stupidity excuse that this woman is going to have. Just the level of ignorance that's probably going to come out this woman's mouth on the reason why she used surgery money for some freaking Beyonce tickets. But without further ado, let's hop into this nonsense. Oh my God. You know... And she stole money out of my account? Wow, she that stole the money. Heart surgery? Why are you recording me right now? Like, you trying to... Don't worry about why I'm recording you. I don't worry about where my money is. Don't worry about where my money Alright, fellas. Right off rip. If I was that dude, I wouldn't even be standing there talking to her. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. But this does go to show that in my past videos, I keep stressing to you fellas, you got to get to know the person that you're dealing with because you might end up with somebody that's willing to be so selfish and cold hearted to where they will literally say, I don't care about this kid's life. Let me go into his bank account. And steal the money for some Beyonce tickets because I <clears throat> want to go see Beyonce. Like I said, I wouldn't even be talking to her. There wouldn't even been a, a conversation that day. She would have came back. I, I would have already had her stuff packed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, she would have been homeless that day. And that's that that that's what it would would have been. I wouldn't have been having no conversation. Cause what that that's how you know this person is mentally challenged, and there's something deeply wrong with this female right here. To the point to where she is like, okay, I don't care about this child, this young child getting surgery. I'm gonna take this money and go have me some fun at a who. Who can sit there and live with themselves knowing that a kid could die because they need surgery and you at a Beyonce concert singing and dancing along to her her songs and you don't have you didn't even think have a second thought or even have a conscience or feel bad about what you've done. Yeah, bro, like I said, fellas, man, you got to get to know the person you're dealing with. This is low. This is bottom of the burrow activity. This is trifling. This is the most shadiest thing that a person could even do in a relationship. But like I said, fellas, there wouldn't have been no talking. She would have been homeless that day. She would have been having to call up a home girl, mama, somebody in the family to go stay with them because she getting the heck up out of my crib that day for that nonsense and she, when she get a job or accumulate some money you gonna start paying me back that's exactly what's gonna happen but let's finish y'all this is crazy like i begged you to take me to that concert why would not you take me to the concert because hold on hold on because he don't need to he has priorities you see fellas this is this is the problem these modern women are freaking delusional and that's why I stressed in uh, a past video, you got to get to know the person you're dealing with. And hell, even if you got to do a background check, do a background check on, 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 on these females. This is ridiculous. She's sitting up here still trying to get an explanation of why he didn't take her to go see the Beyonce. He has priorities. His priorities are in check. Yours is obviously not to the point to where you would go take money out of his account and go buy tickets and go to a Beyonce concert because you really wanted to go. 
First of all, this is selfish. She's childish. She's immature. She's definitely not. I can't even believe he in the caption. He used wife. She ain't even wifey material. This is this is bird. Just dumb delusional bird activity, bro. Like you got to get rid of this chick. You know what? It would have been a divorce. I, I, she would have been getting out of my crib, and I would have been like, "In yo, by the way, I want a divorce." There is no, bro. This is like the worst. I think this is y'all, y'all, y'all. Hit me in the comments. Do y'all think this is worse than her, a person cheating on you? Like, I, I really want to know. I think this is worse. Or it's equal or the same. I don't know, man. This is this is beyond me. This is crazy. But yeah, man, if I was him, I wouldn't even talk. I wouldn't even say a word to her, bro. I would have just went upstairs, start packing her stuff, calling her Uber, and giving her the boot and just telling her, by the way, I'm filing for a divorce. Like, this is ridiculous. But you got to get to know the person you're dealing with so you don't end up in these weird delusional behind situations and she seemed like she's so entitled she act like she's entitled to his money the only person that's entitled to his money is his child because his priorities are in check his child comes first that's why he was saving that money for his child's surgery not for some freaking Beyonce tickets but I'm telling you man you get with people, you need to get to know them. Get to know them thoroughly before you even take it to the next level because you might wind up with a chick like this. Stealing your money out your account, fellas. This is this is delusional. Very delusional. Because the concert is the least of my worries right now. What? She said she don't care. And for you to take my money out of my account just to go to some Beyonce concert, yeah, she definitely done lost that her mind. What? She said go ask the baby mama. First of all, the baby mama didn't steal the, the freaking money. You did. So you need to go get a job and start saving and paying him back. Doing something to give him back that money for his kid's surgery. What you mean? She talking about go ask the baby mom. See, this is bird activity, bro. These are the type of bird women, modern day women you need to stay away from. Because the only thing they after is some money. That's all they want. Something materialistic and some money. <laughs> Listen, bro. Fellas, I can't stress enough. Please don't put your... Please get to know the person you're dealing with and don't allow yourself to end up in this ridiculous situation. She said, go ask the baby mom. The baby mom had nothing to do with the money being stolen for Beyonce tickets. Your bird behind stole his money that he was using for his child surgery for the, the tickets. And then the fact she said, I don't care about that. So that's crazy. She, she literally told him, I don't care about the child or the surgery. I wanted to go see Beyonce, so I took your money and I did that. First of all, I would have been pressing charges. She would have been going to jail. Divorce and jail. Something got to happen to her, bro, because this is nonsense. Because you ain't got nothing to do with my wife. I mean, you never take me nowhere. He never take you nowhere. You don't need to go nowhere. Because. All right, she said, she said, you don't never take me nowhere. How about if, if you wanted those Beyonce tickets, how about you get a job, save up your money and buy the ticket yourself? Instead of going into my account, using that money that I was saving up for my kid's surgery. How about you go get a job, save up your own money and go buy your own Beyonce ticket if you were so pressed about going to go see Beyonce? You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. This, this is just beyond me. This girl is delusional. She's selfish. She's shady. She's trifling beyond belief. Man. Something is important. 
Why would I think so? Why would I bring my hard work and money? That was my hard work and money for my kid so he can have a life. I don't care. Wow. And she said she didn't care. That's what you need to care about. So what if this is your life? What if this is your life? What if this is your life? I can't be your Your baby mom needs to take care of her kids. My baby mom ain't doing nothing right now. That's another thing. He definitely should have got to know this girl. I think he rushed. He moved her in. They got married. He didn't really get to know her, bro. He didn't get to know her good enough. And that's the mistake that we make, man. We we get with these girls. You know, they are very attractive. We, we fall in love with them and, and we rush and we move into the next level so fast that we forget to take the time out to really get to know the person that we invite into our lives. And then they end up doing trifling mess like this. You know, that's crazy. She talking about the baby mom needs to do something. No, the baby mom don't need to do nothing. You need to do something because you the person that stole the surgery money and took it out of his account. It, you need, and that's another thing. This female or just females in general don't know how to take, don't know how to, uh, they don't know how to take responsibility for their actions, accountability or whatever, however you say it. They don't know how to, they don't know how to do that. And she needs to take accountability and responsibility for her actions. Baby mama, nothing. The baby mama did not steal that surgery money. You did. So you need to take accountability and responsibility, get a job, and find a way to pay him back that money. But to be honest, fellas, I think he needs to divorce her, press charges, take her to court, and let the judge make her pay back that money. But on that note, y'all, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time out to watch my YouTube videos. Thank you for all the subscribers so far. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to keep going no matter how long it takes. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell because sometimes YouTube be tripping, you know, with the notifications. And like I say in all my videos, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.